Um, so when it comes to uh, vet exam and grooming and, and things like that with the dog, I personally prefer to teach the dog that on a table. Um, they're gonna be on a, on a table for grooming, they're gonna be on a table for uh, uh, vet appointments. And uh, you don't need to go out and buy yourself a grooming table, but it does, you can use this on like a park bench or a park table or you know anything uh, 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 similar. Um, but it does help to teach the dog to, to, to be comfortable on the table. Um, it also helps in training a little bit because oftentimes the dog's a little bit nervous about moving around on the table, so it can keep our dogs a little bit still. So we're gonna put a pup up here on the table and we're gonna show you some, uh, some examining uh, procedures that you can practice at home and, and, and do yourself. So we wanna make sure our dog's comfortable on the table. Um, this is gonna help out at vet appointments, it's gonna help out at grooming appointments. Um, <coughs> we wanna make sure the dog's comfortable with you touching its ears, uh, doing like a little exam, um, touching the ears, touching the, the, the feet, and just kinda of checking all that stuff out. And when the dog gets comfortable with this, this is when we can bring in our, our uh, quote unquote stranger. And, and it doesn't have to be a stranger, especially in the beginning, it does help when it's somebody that's, uh, that's in the home, uh, whether it's a, a family member or something, but we can bring somebody in and you can feed your dog and keep your dog's attention. <laughs> So you can keep your dog's attention and we can have that little stranger exam. They can touch the ears, they can touch the feet and just get your dog comfortable here. And kind of practicing these behaviors is gonna make the dog better when they go into a vet appointment. So the dog can see this kind of stuff and, and get comfortable um, with a little ear touching, a little feet touching. And then uh, um, when it does come time to take your dog to a vet, uh, it can be much, less traumatic and you can have a the dog can have a less stressful time at the vet and maybe we can just brush a little bit and that can be our 10 seconds of uh of brushing you know you know and, and brushing nail trimming uh, is all just part of owning a dog, uh, making sure the ears are clean. Um, we wanna make sure that the dog is comfortable with this. Some dogs get a little bit nervous and it's okay to put uh, a little food in one hand or have somebody else feed your dog as you brush them in the beginning. But once your dog gets comfortable with it, uh, it shouldn't be a problem. Walking into a vet clinic can be a pretty scary experience for a lot of dogs. The lobby is full of all kinds of new smells from many different animals and we require our dogs to do things we normally want to ask them to do, like stepping on a scale, getting on a table, having their teeth looked at, and their temperature taken. You can help make your dog's vet visit more pleasant by doing some handling exercises at home where you can feed your dog treats while touching their ears, feet, and tail. As your dog becomes more comfortable with you doing this, enlist the help of other people living in your home or friends. You feed the dog as they give a mock examination. Your goal is to keep your dog's attention and make the exam as pleasant as possible. Many vet clinics will allow their clients to bring their dogs into the vet clinic for short training sessions and to get the dog more comfortable with the environment. The vet does not have to be a scary place for your dog. We post our social media videos to our website, Learberg.com, a week or two before we post them to our YouTube channel. These early release videos can be found on the front page of our site or by going to the site and selecting video on demand from the toolbar and then select free videos. Thank you for watching.